Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, this is my solo nightfall run on the Warlock. This is as close as I think you'll get to a farming technique. It could have been 17 and a half minutes. I think it's about eight, just over 18 minute long uh, using the Void Walker. Setup is in the video, but before the video starts and proper, I just want to say I have no idea what happened with my recording, but it, it black screened the first 30 seconds. So we're going to start at the door in the first room, which, and you'll see... 30 seconds has passed, I've used two war cliffs, I have the correct amount of super, I don't I don't have full super or anything. Uh, I have no idea why it black screen, so as you can see we're 30 seconds in, I've used two war cliffs, there's nothing amiss, I don't have much super energy just from what I got. So, to do the first section is exactly the same, war cliff the fallen, reload, war cliff the, the, the cabal, I think I actually put a grenade on the cabal with it being void. So... Uh, the, the other thing you know, you've probably seen in, in the video, I'm using Empowering Rift. So make sure on this first area, there's, there's, there's tons of ads. It's the same as the, 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 the Titan run. It's the same as the Hunter run. You're going to rush those two captains. Then you want to take the two orange bar cabals, take the cabals in the center, and then head down to the door. The difference with, with the Hunter, the, with the, the Warlock, is he has Devour. So you can play a little bit more aggressively because as long as you get a kill you'll be okay uh so yeah i was speaking with a friend of mine uh who i'll name shablo uh and we we were discussing the possibility of, of a warlock we thought it would be tricky we thought it was doable we thought it'd be tricky but i think this run kind of proves that with just, if I'd, have, if I'd have fancied, if this had been a Wednesday or a Thursday, I probably would have tried, kept trying, because I reckon I could get this around about the 17 minute mark. I reckon I could get it around there. I was unlucky with two rockets, a couple of rockets, right at the very final DPS, and I ended up having to kind of uh, coax them round a, round a like, cover, so I could, I could, do damage to him. As you can see, it's it's a fast run. The Warlock is actually quite a fast run. Uh, I don't think Dawnblade is really going to be viable for this run. So we, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with Nova Bomb. So again, once I've slammed, I don't bother with a grenade. Make sure I've got Warcliffe loaded. Uh, I'm going to put a grenade on the ads. When I fire up my Warcliffe, because they really can, if they get a bead on you, they can they can really do some damage. So what I always do is jump over here so I can get a reload, and then come out when I'm reloaded. And it's just about that simple. Collect your, your Warcliffe, collect your Heavy Bricks, sorry, collect your Heavy Bricks, and just go. Uh, and it's the only difference between the strategies is, the Hunter has Arc Strider so he can go at the tank with the Arc Strider. Titan has... Uh, barricade the warlock has nothing that will help him reload i mean lunar factions if someone else has got them will reload your weapons in a rift if you're in it keep coming in and out but it doesn't do it for you so i couldn't attack i couldn't viably attack and maybe i could have but i chose not to attack the tank with rockets and super right off the bat so what i done was because i figured that it's the super for DPS, the, the the Warlock Super is it's probably, in the nicest possible sense, the worst out of the Supers. So I f what I figured I would do is I would uh, attack it the way I, I do when I'm doing just a guide for people to beat the Nightfall. Try and do it as fast as possible. And then use any remaining rockets to DPS the, the yellow bar and the adds that are up with the tank. And then use my Super. So, again, this is the this is the fallen version. So we're right hand plate first. Uh, now, you wouldn't guess I didn't have a driving license. <laughs> I was very lucky that I didn't die there. I actually thought that the tank was going to do its kind of fast movement to to smash me, but it didn't. I was lucky I got away with it. So I probably could have made up a you know a couple of seconds there. I actually just can't believe I've done it. So, what I do is I go down under here to change from Warcliffe. I've, I know I've got enough bricks to get. I've got enough heavy ammo to get full crop and coal. And we're going to attack. We're going to attack the 
the tank from down here. Uh, make sure you get that grenade on it as well to give you the extra damage. And be mindful. Don't, don't, you know, what, what I do here is probably the best method is once it gets a bead on you, once you see that that cannon is going to fire at you, uh, I kind of jump up straight and then get some movement going so that uh, so it can't actually get a proper view up, view of me. And as you can see, it's a warlock. I, I'm not used to my warlock, so I had a bit of problems with jumping. It's all good. We sorted it. Clear some ads for the last one. Now I'm going to change back to the walker. Obviously, because I'm going to jump up now, I'm going to use my super on the, the yellow bar so that I can pick the heavy ammo straight away. So I'm, I'm on the platform. There we go. What I'm going to do now is pick up this brick and go and attack the dogs. I lost one heavy, heavy ammo there. It's fine because for the way that I do this, I only need maximum of four. You know, minute, you might be able to get away at the end here with having three heavy ammo. Heavy ammo section at the end is exactly the same. You're going to skip the first platform, go straight to the second one, kill the two cabal and the turrets, and then that should make the the shielded centurions appear. Clear them. You've got three turrets and you can attack the fallen. So it's exactly the same because it's a very good strategy. Uh, it's exactly the same. The only... The, there wasn't a lot of difference bar the DPS for the final phase. That was where the main difference came. And and I think if you look at the time, you can see that this is a pretty fast run. So it was it's kind of annoying that the warlock super isn't isn't better than than, than what it is. Because if it was, as you see, I'm I'm prepared for those. So one war cliff, uh crop dust the ads. One more cliff does the job. No, I'm sitting pretty with my heavy. Take these, take these uh, scorpion, scorpion turrets out. Scorpio turrets, scorpion turrets, whatever they're called. And this was the first one of these runs that I didn't clear all the fallen with a war cliff because they seem to come out in stages. But it's all good. There's not many of them up, so finish them with a hand cannon, and then we'll activate the the lift and take the rest of the cabal out and well that's us we're on the on, on the boss and in a really good time i mean it is you know my normal runs on the warlock before this even with taking all the fallen out with one one war cliff all the runs before this were at this point you'd be looking at nine minutes you know nine plus but th this was a really good run so I've got my empowering rift, I've got my super, I've got full heavy. So the plan is exactly the same as the other characters. Uh, we're going to get them down to just about half, maybe just a bit under half. And then we're going to maneuver them down to basically behind the boxes, to trap himself on the boxes that I'm standing on. Right? Just in front of where I'm standing. Then we're going to pop the... The, empow the, the empowered rift. We're going to pop the empowered rift. Try and get some rockets on them. Uh, happen when over, which will allow me to reload. Uh, and then I'm going to get in front of him and try and get him to melee, which will keep him on the ground longer and enable me to get all my rockets on him. And you'll see, I get the skip. He jumps up to the first platform, jumps down. Jumps back up to the second platform, but I just couldn't get enough damage to make him bubble up on the second platform. So I still have to put damage on him, and it's that's where the tech, that's where the difficult part of this is. The difficult part of this this run really is managing the ads and him sniping you. And if you go where I went, you'll be fine because he can't he can't hit you. And if you move back far enough, the dogs will come and they'll just kind of stand in front of you. So as you can see, I I think. I think I had a bit of a problem manoeuvring him to start with, which was quite, uh, no, I didn't, I thought I did, yep, we managed to get it pre pretty clean there, it must have been, 
when you do as many runs as I do, I think I've done about six or seven, they kind of melt together. So as you can see, I've got, he's, he's behind, he's, he's where I need him to be. I'll put down the Empower Room Rift, and now I'm going to go Rocket, Reload, Rocket, and I'm going to try and get the, the Nova on him. I've reloaded, hit him p perfect, get another Rocket on him. Now I'll go up, hit him close with a Rocket so it, he melees, which keeps him in front of me enough time which if you looked at the, the way I'd set my character up to start with, uh, I, I've got a mod on which cr increases reload speed for heavy. It, it kind of really helps, especially for the Warlock for this, because he has nothing to help him. So I'll change straight back to the Warcliffe. What I could have done here is I could have... This is maybe the only part I, 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 I done wrong. As you can see, God knows why he jumped over there. He's now jumped up to his platform. I could have I could have went and tried to, tried to put more damage on him with the Scout. I just, you know, I, I wasn't sure because of everything that was going on how much damage I really had put on him. So I wasn't sure if I needed that additional damage. So when he jumps up to his, his platform, as you can see, you can go back here. The dogs kind of just, they come to you and then, then they stay. And you, as you can see, you can see his sight. He can aim at you. He can hit you if you don't manage yourself in the right way. You know, if you go back to where you're safe, he can hit you, and unless you crouch. So crouching in this position is ideal. I think another thing I've done in this run, which is something I didn't do in the other runs, is I actually take the ship down, just so I don't have to deal with it. I knew it was, I'd said to myself earlier, I'd done, last night I think I'd done a 26 minute wallop run. I was never going to be happy with, with a, a plus 20 run. And I'd said to myself today, if I can get that good run, if I can get that, you know, under 20 minutes, ne under, you know, 19 minutes, I'll be happy. So when I'd done an 18 minute run, I was like, I'm done. It can be done faster. You probably could get away with a 17, just over 17 minute run. So, yep, yeah, just keep ducking in and out, in and out. And putting damage on him while he's on his, on his tower. I think I was pretty lucky. I think I just about run out of special uh, energy ammo just as he fires up his... Yep. I had like six rounds or something. So now I can come out and attack the rest of the adds. Uh, make sure I get myself some energy. Uh, the ship's there. I think I do put the ship down because I... I I kind of was getting hit quite heavy off the ship. And I've swallowed a grenade. I've got the Devour perk. So it doesn't matter if I get attacked by dogs. As long as I kill them, I'll get my, my health straight back. It's not, it doesn't start regeneration. It gives you a health straight back. So as you can see, I'm taking constant fire from the ship. And that, I think, if I hadn't have took the ship out, if I'd have just went with it and just got into cover, all these things mixed in, the perfect run, uh, which somebody will probably somebody will do uh, the perfect run. You can do it in about seventeen minutes, you know. And that's getting it as fast, if not faster, than what I've done, and not making, not having the the, the problems that I had. I mean, it's it's took me between you know, I reckon about thirty seconds or so to put the ship down. So, but I've done it so that now I can focus on the ads. I don't have to worry about trying to dodge the ship. Uh, I remember. I I remember ages ago. I watched uh Slayerage. I watched his solo back when D two first came out, <laughs> and I remember how funny it was that he thought that that would go after a while. I remember listening to his response, uh, and that's why I've always took the ship down. To be fair, because it's just it's one less thing to worry about. So you make sure that you change back once you've got your once you've got that one brick. You make sure you change back to your war cliff. Uh, so you've got your full, full, full ammo for the same strategy. It's going to be the same strategy as I've done with the Titan and the Hunter. I'm going, to, except I'll put an Empower and Rift down, Nova, and get as many rockets in as I can. Uh, as I've said before, I like to take the orb with me because I, I feel comfortable managing it. So it's it's no big deal if you don't take it. It's the you know, if you don't take it, you don't take it. You just have to come back and get it. It's it's not a big deal. 
Uh, but if you do take it, make sure that you're constantly picking it up when you've got a second so that it doesn't go away. So now I've got full heavy. This is probably the only thing I was disappointed with was that I never done more damage to him with the rockets because, you know, I know how vulnerable the Warlock is in this position. He can't finish. He cannot finish the boss in this position. So it's just about getting the Empowering Rift down and doing as much damage to him before you're in real trouble. And honestly, if I'd have done more damage at the start, maybe maybe this part would have been easier. But say la vie, it is what it is. I've done it. So now we've, we're all ready for the boss. We're going to slam and then get back to the center. Make sure we get the Empowering Rift down. And we're going to try and do as much damage to him as possible. Before he does damage. Now, in retrospect, I probably didn't have to put that right in the center. So I'm trying. And that's, that's what I'm saying. The Warlock Super really isn't the best for, like all out DPS on a boss you know I, I'm sure someone else will come up with a better way of doing this uh, but I, I I go here so I've got I've got to now con contend with these snipers they will respawn you know so I am getting damaged with the rockets but for some reason, that rocket never touched him. I don't think the next one does either. You know, I don't know if he ducked backwards. Yep. It was quite annoying, actually, just watching that back. Because I felt the second last one should have happened. But, hey-ho. The, th the, 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 the thing now is, now I'm in a pre precarious position. Because I've got empower an empowering rift on. Uh, and because I've got Empowering Rift, I can't really, you know, it's there for, for damage. I'm not going to get any protection. So maybe, maybe if you, you find yourself in this situation, uh, maybe it's not a good idea to come to where I am. I, can, I, I don't think so. I think I think this is a really good place to attack because uh, you can manage him here. And the biggest problem here is, you know, he's nearly dead. I keep having to go away because a couple of his blasts from his weapon, you know, really kind of mess you up. And, surprise, surprise, I do die in this run. But I die when he dies. So it's it's acceptable. I, I, I'll I take a suicide. I, I, I wasn't happy about it, but I'll take it. So, yep, just keep doing damage. I've got the Empowering Rift down now. And... Probably the reason I died is I've just noticed I, I don't have a lot of health and I went at him, but luckily I got the kill. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I hope this has been helpful to some of you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Warlock Super, the Warlock Run, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.